Hey guys, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 bringing to you another wrestling video and today I want to talk about The Undertaker vs Goldberg from last Friday's Super Showdown event which was on the WWE Network. Now I haven't actually had a proper chance to watch this match until last night but um, a lot of people on social media and I've seen like a few videos here on YouTube saying that this match was a disaster, a complete mess. And, you know, I'm one of those guys that I'm not going to say anything till I've seen it myself. So I managed to watch the match last night and, yeah, it, it was bad. But not as bad as some people made it out to be. I mean, I thought it wasn't great, but I wouldn't go out and say it was terrible. I mean, some people even said this was the worst match of 2019. It's a bit of an unfair thing to say, I have, if I'm honest. But um, I watched all of the match, and a lot of it was pretty much a botch fest, so to speak. But I would say a lot of the blame has to be on Goldberg. Not The Undertaker. Now, probably some people are going to say, oh, you would say that because you're a Taker fan. No, I watched it. I thought Undertaker looked pretty good. You know, I mean, his last match he had was um, back at Crown Jewel when he teamed up with Kane against Triple H and Shawn Michaels of DX. That match was terrible. I'll, I'll go out and say that match was terrible. But this one... It was terrible, but not on Taker's part. I thought Taker looked pretty damn good, I thought. He, he looked in really good shape. You know, he, he's you know he's lost a, a lot of weight. I remember he said he's lost like over 25 pounds. And it showed, you know, it really showed. He looked really good. Obviously, he's not going to be the Undertaker we all know from, what, five or six years ago. Because, you know, he's much older now. But I thought he put in a pretty good effort. I mean... The choke slam he gave to Goldberg in the match wasn't the greatest choke slam in the world, but it was okay. But um, Goldberg, you know, he hadn't been in the ring since when was the last time he was in the ring? I think was WrestleMania 33 against Brock Lesnar. That was the last time he was in the ring. That's over two years ago, and. I love Goldberg, you know, I respect the hell out of him, you know, mega props to him for finishing the match, even though he was a complete bloody mess, and I think he, I think I read somewhere he sustained a concussion at the start of the match, or maybe somewhere in the match or somewhere, I'll have to rewatch it again, but I know he sustained a, a concussion, he was bleeding everywhere after the, uh, running into the corner, head first, ouch, but Goldberg just looked he just looked really terrible. And, you know, when you got two guys like Goldberg and Undertaker, you know, two of the toughest men to ever lace up their boots, you know, two of the biggest names in wrestling, not just WWE, but in wrestling, you know, you want this match to be good. I remember I said in a previous video, I really hope this match will be good. I wasn't expecting a five-star classic, you know, but I wanted it to be okay. But it was sad. Just watching it. I mean, after the match was finished, I got that sense just looking at Taker's face. He looked really pissed off, which is understandable. He looked quite pissed off after the match. I don't think the match was the way he wanted it to go. I know Goldberg said that he wasn't happy about how the match was. I did hear stories that these two got into a bit of a shouting match backstage about the stuff that happened. And uh, there was a big incident where the Goldberg went for the jackhammer. It went more into a brain buster and Undertaker landed head first. Jeez. Could have broke his damn neck. And then there was um, Taker delivered a tombstone. Now, I know Taker's always been known as one of the safest workers, if not the safest worker in the business. And to see that tombstone and actually see Goldberg's head land on the mat... Was, was was quite frightening. It brought back some flashes of Owen Hart tombstoning Stone Cold back at SummerSlam in 1997. I'm just glad Goldberg's okay. I'm glad both these guys 
made it out in okayish shape. But um, yeah, it was quite sad, really, watching this match. It really was. And, you know, this was a match I would have loved to have seen back in the late 90s, even 2003 to four. You know, there's been so many chances they could have had this match. And to have this match now, you know, it was quite sad, really. And I, I love these two. I really do. Especially Taker. You know, I love these guys. I respect the hell out of these guys. So, to say this match was the worst match of the year, I don't know if I fully agree with it. But it won't go down as one of the greatest matches of all time. But I thought, overall, it wasn't that bad. But it was sad. Is it time for Taker to walk away? Quite frankly, WrestleMania 33 was the perfect way for The Undertaker to leave, really. When he left all his gear in the ring, that was the best time to go. That was the best time to go, to be honest. There was no need to come back and wrestle a couple more matches, really. Maybe do some special appearances. Always a pleasure to see him. You know, he's a legend. You know, but I don't think Undertaker should wrestle anymore. You know, it's sad for me to say that. If he's to have one more match, then make it an official retirement match at Survivor Series next year. Do it. You know, let people know going in that, right, this is the, this is the last time you're going to see The Undertaker wrestle. This is his 30th anniversary pay-per-view where he made his debut. And it's the perfect way to go out for someone like him. Because I don't want to see him seriously hurt himself or worse. Because, you know, he don't deserve that. No one does. Nobody deserves to get seriously hurt in the ring. So we'll have to see, really. But I think Survivor Series 2020 is the best time for a guy like The Undertaker to go. Because each and every time you see him, it, it gets it gets uncomfortable to watch. I mean... Thank God they haven't put him back in the ring with Brock Lesnar. Can you imagine what, what that would be like now? Ugh. Doesn't even bear thinking about. So, I hope Taker's okay. I hope Goldberg is okay. And just want to say, you know, thank you to both of you for giving us this match. Even if it was years too late. I'm just happy that these two finally got to go at it in the ring very sad they didn't get to have the match they wanted on you know the match we could have had but at least it's happened now and should it happen again i don't think so i personally don't think this should happen again and um that's it really that's my thoughts on this match so um i'm just going to leave this here for all of you thanks for listening guys and um I'll see you next time. Peace out.